Hello, everyone, and welcome to Inside Leather History, a fireside chat. My name is Douglas O'Keefe. I am the host and producer of the chats, along with Mistress Joanne Gaddy. The Fireside Chats are a program of the Leather Archives and Museum. Today, I am sitting down for an interview with Sister Mary Reed, who is in Poznan, Poland. You are the first person from Poland to be part of the Fireside Chats. Oh, yes, I am I'm from Poznań, Poland, and uh, yes, I think maybe it's still very well, it's, it's a first time, I think it will be great to see other fetishes or something like that in, in Poland, of course. Tell me a little about your growing up and your life in Poland. Mm, okay, I... You know, Poland is um, the quite homophobic this is the country, but uh, I have the, this, this uh, quite happy uh, life, yeah, because I um, uh, I growing with a great family, especially my mother was supporting me. I think uh, I when I was in high school, uh, boys. Uh, uh, used to sleeping in my my bed my mother give him us uh, breakfast for the bed of the bed for example and uh, and then i i never need to to coming out in my family yeah? because it's i it's always was normal for my family and it's quite unusual in in poland yeah? because we we see very different um, stories about about this here uh, but i have very very happy child and that's what i say when you were growing up mm. how did you know about being gay there was some uh, some some problems but but not not obvious yeah mm. I think the society was ignoring this uh, mm. mostly then. It's, uh, it was better than now in Poland, I think, even. Tell <laughs> me now is much more um, homophobic uh, situation than then, yeah. Tell me more about that a little bit, because how was gay information during the communist time? Hmm. We was uh, uh, behind the iron curtain, mm. and in Poland, we, in fact, we don't have uh, uh, sexual evolution for when, when the West and, 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 and America going to the sexual evolution. In Poland, and probably in, in the other countries around, we don't have this because we don't. Uh, this this information was very very uh, very well to, to, uh, we're going to Poland uh, about some some sexual life and 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 and, and it's uh, when we uh, in Poland when we have uh, this uh, some some uh, when we struggle with this. The communism and and when we fight about this, we then we have we had uh, some uh, other uh, thing. We had a uh, pope in Poland, yeah, Pope John Paul yeah. II was from Poland, but we have had the pope and and also uh, like a, for example Czech Republic. Uh, then uh, this, they're free from communism and and they. Go through the sexual revolution, but in Poland we don't because we had the Pope, yeah, and we cannot. <laughs> did you have? The pope, yeah. Sorry, did you have magazines that you could see or newspapers? Uh, yes, the magazines was uh, hmm, the first magazines. I think uh, it's about uh, 
1991, 93, this year was the first, first magazines was appears in Poland. Uh, yes, yeah, so we have some magazines and, and uh, uh, but it's quite hard to to to, to buy these magazines and think in Poland. Uh, how did men meet during the communist time? Each, each city has his own place to, to meet. Uh, sometimes there is one in, in the in the restaurants or also in, 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 in on, on pubs also. Mm. For example, here in Poznań we have uh, some some very old uh, gay pubs. We have uh, here the uh, They they <coughs> organize this. I think uh, yeah, this last of the one of the oldest in Poland. And and they working some of them are working up today. Tell me a little bit about these clubs. There was a cinema Bokusa, cinema temptation, I think in English temptation. Yeah, because that there is a something like sex movie, but 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 uh, they become mostly gay place that, those those times and now it's still working here in Poznan. Wow. And we also had some some saunas for example for gay people in Poland also. Uh, but it's uh, yeah I think all the sauna in Poland uh, starting his his work I think about uh, 1995. Ah, ah. Yeah, and and uh, but, but before they, I think I think this is uh, some some place. Was it dangerous to uh, speak of the topic when you met someone? Uh, in nineties in Poland, it's not. So then, just because I, like, well, as I say, it's it's quite neutral to other people. Most of them <laughs> ignoring this this uh, this this topic. Uh, but nowadays, it's it depends where in Poland nowadays. Well, <clears throat> let's talk a little bit about that because how is the gay life in Poland today? When I going uh, through Poland as a sister, I, I feel this this very very uh, personal. For example, here I have uh, in Poznan. We have uh, Poznan is the most open city, I think, in in Poland. Wow. Okay. And other uh, west cities, west uh, part of the Poland is is quite open, but. In Warsaw, in in, uh, in our uh, uh, capital, we have some some problems. For example, here in Poznan, when I was going through the streets, most of the people want to take a picture with me or yeah. uh, or something like that. And, but uh, in Warsaw, I think I can uh, feel so, uh, quite safe. But but the people try to mm, avoid me. For example, when I go into the street, they going opposite way to because they, they don't want to mm, to pass me yeah, on the street. Yeah. It, it is in Warsaw. <coughs> and uh, and of, of course, Warsaw is not the most uh, the uh, east of Poland. Uh, the, uh, even uh, further, for example, in Białystok, I was uh, uh, last week I was in Białystok, uh, there's a second quality match, and there I can't go uh, on the street alone. There was such many uh, people that not agree with this and they, it's not safe yeah, it's in, in Białystok. Okay, we, have, we will take one step back. You were at Białystok. Yes. Okay. And you said you went there two years ago? Yes. Okay. And, 
there was a, a, a quality march. A quality march is a, like pride, yeah? It is a local pride. Equality march, okay. Equality okay. march. And in fact, that two years ago, it's not a simple march, but it's a, uh, I don't know this good word, but I think it's a war. War, because a protest. we're fighting with this, we fight to go to the city. A protest, I think you mean. Yes, yes. These con- demonstrants throw at us uh, the stones, the firecracks, and mm-hmm. and other, uh, and and it's very. I think you know it's uh, for many young people there was there. It's a terrible time, and. That was it was on one of the worst equality marches in Poland at that time. But this year, it's it was great. It's uh, uh, there was good music. Got then uh, people was dancing on the streets, and it's a uh, quite uh, different. I think it was in in many aspects is different city after these two years. Ah. Uh, and it's thanks for the local organization in the Aistok who was, they, they was made such big work to change this city. Is there a lot of pride uh, marches, a lot of pride events in Poland? Yes, uh, yes, I think it's uh, year by year is more and more. Of course, uh, last year uh, was a uh, COVID uh, epidemic and this was, wasn't any much, but two years ago, we have uh, March every weekend from the from May to, to September, to, to I think uh, to October, I think is we have Every weekend, in once of the city was the equality march. Ah. Uh, I try to go every on every equality march, and uh, I cannot because some of them was in the same time, of course. Hmm. But uh, I think it's about 30, 30 marks uh, in two thousand. Uh, uh, 19, I think. Mm, mm. And well, last year wasn't uh, many, but there was a few. Okay. But every each of these marches was different. Mm. Um, as a sister, I'm um, doing some of, of each of the march, i doing an, different work. Yeah? For example, in this uh, march in Białystok two years ago, um, uh, my job was, for example, hugging these people who, who was uh, uh, frightened by the demonstrant and, 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 and going and talking with them. Uh, and, for example, in Warsaw, I spreading condoms on this march, and yeah, because there's uh, much more, uh, much more joy and, and uh, you know, the uh, one of the goals of the sisters is spreading universal joy, and then then try to do this in in Warsaw by by some some events, and also spreading some condoms, for example. Też. How is Poland managing HIV? It's it's of course one of the. I think uh, we have uh, very good doctors for this, and and and. Uh, even in Europe, we have uh, mostly uh, very good treatment for HIV. But but in Poland, it's we have very uh, there is a problem with uh, with uh, education and with testing with with uh, uh, some uh, prevention of HIV. Um, we have, for example, um, uh, prep, yeah, but. Uh, but only in the biggest cities and and not not free. You need to pay pay for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
as a sister, I try to educate people about uh, under the tables and about uh, something uh, new information and about HIV because because when we don't have proper education, we grow up about uh, on the some films, for example, yeah. But, but you know, films about HIV is mostly about the the, the past time when the the people dying on, on AIDS and mm. uh, and uh, and most of the people thinking <coughs> think that thinks that this is still the same. And, but you know, today it's the um, in, in different with the different times about this HIV. How are you educating them? The most time I, I going to as a sister, I going to the clubs uh, in, in not only in Poznań but in other cities also. If you're on the mostly on the the west part of this this country, uh, and we talking with people, spreading condoms, uh, about uh, spreading packets for for the hem sex because it's also. Uh, quite popular in Poland. I'm sorry, what uh, sex? Chem sex. Chem sex. Chem sex. Okay. Yeah, chem sex. It's uh, also, I think it's uh, become more uh, quite quite problematic uh, way because uh, you know it's in Poland we are um, about two or three years after this this west of Europe and uh, and in, for example in Holland. Uh, they have this problem two years ago, and now they they are quite located, and, and, and it's not a very big problem. So, like like here in Poland, we don't we can learn about in what what is a way to using chemsex safely. Yeah, and it's uh, it's 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 quite. But uh, I think it's the the most. Uh, I do this education in places where the people uh, using them in the clubs, in uh, some places, some other places when, when they when they when they using. When you are trying to do education, you are trying to have them use a condom. How do the men react to this? Last month I was in in Warsaw. I spreading condoms on the street, and then the one young uh, young boy uh, i think i don't know how old was he and but uh, he 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 take one then after 5 minutes go take another one and <laughs> <laughs> and another and uh, and uh, then he told that it's only for him, for my father in and take <laughs> another one and another and I ask how you have how many fathers you have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's it's, it's, it's quite uh, quite different sometimes. Uh, of course, uh, yeah, it's. Uh, but the most problem here in Poland is, I as I mentioned, our government because, mm -hmm. uh, in fact, we can't. Uh, spreading this condom, spreading uh, sterile needles for the and and other things. We, our current government forbids to do this because Why? they think because they think if we spread the condoms, we engage people to have sex. <laughs> but it's completely different, of course, and, and I think it's uh, it's a problem with our government because they don't uh, give us money for the for the uh, an education because we spread the condoms yeah now tell yeah. me about the clubs in poznan and warsaw and other cities do you have a, an active fetish scene uh, yes yes we have Mm, we have fetishes in, in, in the clubs or the, the place for, for them also. Uh, but it's, it's uh, I think this scene is quite, quite uh, the most uh, 
society is, is uh, the most strong uh, place is uh, for uh, Polish beers. I don't know. It's not a, okay. Yeah, but it's not a fetish himself be um, because you know it's not, not a not a proper fetish. I like. I think Chaser is a fetish for this. Not not uh, exactly uh, bears, but uh, but we have quite strong strong organization from Polish bears. We have some, uh, some, for example, here in Poznan, we have also club and and uh, some scene for uh, sneakers. Yes. Also, uh, it's not my fetish at all, but uh, but I, as a sister, I like to go there and 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 observe how they uh, uh, behave here because this is uh, very, very interesting. Also, how is it interesting? For the sneakers, the other things are important. For example, the socks, yeah, and then then the interchange some some uh, some some uh, stomping. For example, we say uh, some uh, stomping is a uh, is uh, going to, in uh, socks on the other guy chest, yeah. It's a stomping, stomping. Sorry, I don't understand. Stomping. I don't know. It's I don't I uh, uh, properly. Uh, spell it uh, stomping. It's a uh, hmm. it's yes, going, just uh, stomp, but stomp on the chest on other guy. Yeah, you can go in, <sighs> in socks on the feet on the other. Yeah, and then uh, in this club, for example, they have a special place for this special bed, and uh, the the hangs on the ceiling that you can uh, do this uh, do this safely. Oh, fun! Okay, and, and some some other things. They are, for example, they they have place to to meet each other. Uh, when they going to, from everywhere in Poland, and 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 it's a place where they can be in in uh, they they yeah uh, they 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 group their own group. So, you mentioned there is. Uh, of course, the puppy scene, there is the sneaker scene. Mm -hmm. You mentioned uh, the leather organization broke up. Yeah. But in, in the big cities of Poland, are there fetish play spaces? Are there leather bars? There are uh, one in Warsaw. Here in Poznan, we have uh, leather club and bar, yeah, and and I think it's all. Uh, sometimes in Rotswaf is also also place where they uh, have some some leather uh, time, but it's club. It's LGBT club, uh, the, the, but they have some some sometimes organize some some uh, some events for for leather and for yeah, because. Uh, in Warsaw, we have also uh, rubber community. Mm -hmm. For example, I think three years ago, our Polish uh, rubber mister was the uh, was uh, Mister Rubber of the World. Yes, Mister International Rubber. Yes. Oh, so, yeah, and he was, he's from from Poland. Yeah, and uh, it's great, uh, it's success for them. Let's talk more about the sisters in Poland. How many sisters are in Poland? Not so simple question. We have um, some sisters uh, which resign. For example, the first sister in Poland was Sister Bernadetta. And she was uh, taken to the court because they abused about uh, the uh, Religious feelings. Yeah, we have in Poland. Uh, we have the law that you can abuse the religious fi religious feelings of some some people. Ah, oh, upset. And, and okay. she was taken to the court. Of course, they not uh, guilt of this, but uh, but he res she resigned about. Uh, we have some sisters also in Krakow in Poland, but they. They works about a year or two, 
and also now they they don't work. Uh, and we have yeah, but uh, we, now now uh, from the active systems are I think are five, including me. I am uh, the only full professor sisters now nowadays. Fully I'm sorry. Sisters in Poland. Fully professed, professed sisters. Yeah, after the fully time. professed. Okay. Yeah, uh, and in Warsaw there was uh, uh, three uh, novice sisters and one postulant sister. Why did the sisters of Krakow quit? I don't know. I think uh, in Poland we have uh, very we have problem with uh, long term uh, engagement in some. Some even some some problems. Yeah, we, for example, of the equality marches in Poznan, we year to year we have mm, we have a big group of volunteers uh, for this march, but they are only on the one season, and the next season they don't go another, and they are different. It's, it's okay because uh, you know some some people want to help once, and and okay. But uh, but for the sisters, uh, the very important thing is uh, is the long time engagement. Yeah, because mm -hmm. uh, even to become sister is uh, long process. Is uh, usually about two years, I think, uh, to become sister. And uh, yeah, it's it's a. Uh, I don't know why, but but in Poland, it's a big problem with this, this long time engagement for this. Where is your abbey? I think in Berlin. In Berlin. Uh, I am in with sisters, uh, sister um, uh, Daphne is my uh, sister Daphne from Berlin is, is my, I think, maybe like my mother or sister in, in, in this, uh, this uh, do you think that your work is successful in Poland? Yes, mostly yes. Yes, sometimes I think uh, yes. Yes, you know, uh, I try to to be uh, all as many as I can on on the in the whole country, not only in Poznan. I I'm not closing to Poznan because I think in Poznan we have such open uh, society that, that we uh, we have quite big success here. Uh -huh. But but I try to go to to, uh, to east parts of the country and and working there and and I think uh, it's worth of that. Yeah, it's I think that we have some some success in in other places. Now, the leather and fetish scene in Poland uh, has, how can I say, it, it, it has a struggle because of the society, because of the government of Poland. Yeah. How do the leather men, the, the puppies, the rubber men, how do they succeed? in Poland? No, then this is the, the work what we should do yeah, in, in whole Poland, because we see that in Poznan it's, uh, uh, it's working. And I think in other cities will also be work. Some, sometimes it start working also. Now, Poland is a very religious country, yes? So, how do the fetish people of Poland manage that issue? It's a problem because, uh, you know, we have read the Pope and the Pope is all, all time that there's our sign and we have many places where we, for example, it's a, I think it's nine, uh, 43 p.m. in Poland on the streets. It can be abused about uh, uh, religious feelings. Why? Because it's the time 
when the Pope died. And in Poland, we cannot play at this time every day. Or they, it's a very big problem, for, for example, because last year we have uh, we have a big uh, event on the streets in Poznań, and we're dancing on the streets. And at this time, uh, we cannot because it's a signed hour for this. The Pope was died about. Mm -hmm. What do you want people to remember about your work in Poland today? It's a hard question because I also like this 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 Berlin sisters. I I change my work every year. I doing something some some things in different way because. Mm. I um, still I always looking for the best uh, best thing I can do here in Poland. So in five years, what work yeah. do you want to do in five years? I'm be happy to do. Uh, for example, I'm happy which we had we have uh, we will have some some marriage equality in five years and can uh, organize some 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 weddings like in Berlin sisters Berlin sisters uh, organize their weddings in Potsdam for example and it's beautiful ceremonies and I would like to do this here in Poland in five years, I think. Do you think you will have gay marriage then? Yes, I think it's, it's uh, in, I, I think it's, it's very, I, we, Poland is in European Union and I think it's uh, very good for Poland because European Union uh, have uh, have strong uh, influence on Poland politics, even for this homophobic government now, and I think it's it it is possible to to do this in in five years. I think. I hope so. I hope so. Well, Sister Mary Reed, what a pleasure to have you as part of Inside Leather History, a fireside chat.